Hello everyone. This is in continuation to our topic linear programming problem. <clears throat> uh, we already learned uh, while understanding the nomenclatures of linear programming. Uh, how do we formulate previously? This is one more problem of maximization type. How do we formulate? The question goes like Bartha paints produces both interior and exterior paints from two raw materials, R1 and R2. The following table provides the basic data of the problem. Uh, actually, I should have mentioned this as R1. Sorry. This is R1. This is R2. Yeah. So, uh, for exterior paint, you need six units or six tons of raw material one to produce one ton and one ton of raw material two, uh, tons of raw material per ton of exterior paint. So, six tons you require raw material one and one ton you require raw material two. Similarly, four tons you require raw material one and two tons you require raw material two. That is given. And then the raw material one availability is 24 tons daily and raw material two availability is six tons availability on a daily basis. If I manufacture and sell exterior paint, I'll be earning 3.75 lakhs per ton in rupees. Here it is three lakhs per ton in rupees. That is uh, profit, right? A market survey indicates that the daily demand for interior paint cannot exceed that of exterior paint by more than one ton. Also, the maximum daily demand of interior paint is two tons. Vartha Paints wants to determine the optimum product mix of interior and exterior paint that maximizes the daily total profit. Formulate this as a linear programming problem. So, we are supposed to determine determine the optimum product mix means the quantity how much I should produce exterior paint and so I will put here a quantity consider the exterior paint quantity as x interior paint quantity as y our objective is to maximize the total daily profit here this is for one ton this is the prop, uh, profit let me put this quantity in metric ton x metric ton and y metric ton right that means here in this case our total profit total profit we'll call it as z this is for one ton it is 3.75 we are planning to manufacture and sell x tons so the total profit for exterior paint will be 3.75 times x and this one is three times y that will be the total profit now our objective is to maximize this total profit. So our objective is to maximize total profit, which is our Z, and that is 3.75 times X plus 3 times Y. Then there are constraint, availability constraint is there. So I will say subject to subject to the first constraint is six times x and four times y means for one unit of exterior paint you need six units and you are planning to manufacture x units of exterior paint so it is six times x will be the requirement so six times x plus this four times y that cannot exceed this 24 tons. So it has to be less than or equal to 24. Similarly, for raw material two, it is one times X plus two times Y. One X plus two Y. That cannot exceed this six tons. So that has to be less than or equal to six. And then we know this X and Y are quantity in metric ton that cannot take any negative values. So I will say, specifically x comma y greater than or equal to zero so this is our objective function for this problem 
Uh, sorry, I think there are some more constraints specified in the question. Let me write that also. If you look into the question, it says the market survey indicates that the daily demand for interior paint means this Y cannot exceed that of exterior paint by more than one ton. Means uh, interior paint, which is Y, cannot exceed exterior paint by more than one ton. Means this has to be less than or equal to one. Or I can rewrite this as minus X plus Y less than or equal to one. That is one constraint specified in here, interior paint cannot exceed that of exterior paint by more than one ton. Also, the maximum daily demand of interior paint is two tons. Interior paint means Y. Maximum daily demand is two tons. That means one more constraint, this Y, which is our uh, interior paint, which is Y, should uh, that maximum demand is two tons means this y has to be less than or equal to two. Then I can write the non-negativity restrictions x comma y greater than or equal to zero. Right. So we have totally four constraints. Initially I wrote two constraint. Actually it is four constraints. After considering not only the table, after considering the words whatever is specified. So these are the four constraints. And the last one is our non-negativity restrictions. Non-negativity restrictions. So this way we formulated this word problem as a linear programming problem. This is the way we formulate it. Subsequently, in case if we are interested in solving it, we have certain methodologies. We will see that in the subsequent videos. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.